Hello and welcome to Lockdown Learning. My name's Paul Holland and this session is all about the gerundiv and how to use it with add to make purpose clauses. It's a fairly short video. There's not a huge amount to explain with the gerundivs. Uh, they're a little bit obscure in Latin for GCSE level, but they will be there at some point in your um, language exam. So it's worth you knowing how they work. As I've said in some previous videos, uh, there are three different ways of making purpose clauses in Latin. And if you haven't yet looked at my uh, videos on qui plus subjunctive and ut plus subjunctive, then they will definitely be worth you checking out. And this particular way of making a purpose clause uses the gerundive, which is a special form of the verb. So let's have a look at a gerundive, shall we? Um, here it is. It's clearly from a verb. Uh, here's a few examples from different groups. But you'll notice it has that ND element near the end. Uh, that's where the word gerundive comes from, actually, that ND. Uh, it's quite recognisable, isn't it, actually? You don't see that very often in Latin. And the endings can be uh, us or a or um or um or am etc etc in fact they are your typical two one two adjectival endings so you have the masculine feminine and neuter and you have various different cases so if we take a gerundive and look at what it means um, it basically expresses the idea of something needing to be done something needing to be something okay so um here we are, this is something that needs to be read, or this is um, a person who needs to be killed, for example. Um, here's another one, this is something which needs to be drunk. Perhaps the most famous example of this from history is the story of Cato, the elder, the, the senator who uh, was determined after the two Punic Wars against Carthage, uh, that the city still had to be destroyed at some point. This was Rome's great enemy on the coast of North Africa, and he uh, finished every single speech with Delenda est Carthago, which, as you can see, means Carthage is needing to be destroyed. It's a feminine word, Carthage, so Delenda, and we would never translate it as is needing to be destroyed. You'd simply change it to Carthage must be be destroyed. This form of the gerundive, especially in the neuter form, uh, will sometimes come up at GCSE. You might see it with a dative um, pronoun, for example, mihi, for me it's necessary for something to be done. So that's an occasional use that you might find here or there. It's necessary for us to hurry. Festinandum est nobis. For us, it is needing to be hurried. In other words, we must hurry. It's necessary for you to sail to this island, for example. Here's another one. Navigandum est. For you. That's the dative. Tibi. But the most common form that you will see it in at GCSE in your language paper will be with the word ad in front of it, and therefore with the actual gerundive in the accusative. So ad takes the accusative, doesn't it anyway, as a preposition. And here we see the form uh, in a sentence. And basically, you'd need to translate this as um, he sent the soldiers in order to destroy the city. Now, yes, there are other ways to say in order to destroy, and we've looked at those in those other videos, but you will have at some point in your GCSE this form here. Ad urbem, accusative, delendam. He sent slaves to kill the king. Or he sent slaves to kill the kings, in the plural. That's the accusative plural. I went to the house in order to greet the girl. Ad puellam salutandam. And as we said right at the beginning, the gerundive has both a passive sense and 
a sense of obligation. Well, don't translate the passive when you've got these kind of sentences. Uh, just make it active. But don't forget that there is also that sense of obligation. So it is a kind of purpose clause in order to do something. I hope that explains how the gerundive works in this form. Um, it's not an overly complicated um, way of doing things in Latin. It is just something that you certainly need to recognise. The key point here is if you see ad, and then later on there is a gerundive, which you can recognise from that ND near the end of it, then you're almost certainly in the world of purpose clauses again and that would mean that you have to translate it as in order to do something and normally it's in order to do something to somebody and that's why it's in the accusative I presume. Good I hope that was useful and um, if it was fantastic and I look forward to uh, seeing you in another session of lockdown learning. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.